Hello and welcome to this video on how to use Caliber the Fill File tool to perform OPC. I'm Diane Chow with Caliber Product Marketing Team. Sometimes you may want to do a quick OPC run on a small layout region to debug or validate OPC recipe. You can use batch mode to do so when the coordinates of the layout region is known. However, in many cases, when you just want to do a quick OPC run on a region loaded in Calibre Workbench, it will be more straightforward by using the file tool. Calibre Litho file tool is designed to provide an ease of use interface for Litho recipe development. It can be used to perform a lot of different tasks. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate one of the key use models of the tool which is to perform an OPC run on the selected layout region in Caliber Workbench. After Caliber Workbench is launched with the design layout, you can open the Litho file tool from the Litho manual. There are three steps needs to be done in this Litho file tool interface before you can start an OPC run. The very first step is that you need to select a mode for Litho file tool. For example, you should select Text Nanometer PC mode if Nanometer PC results are expected. And select Text OPC Pro mode if OPC Pro engine is going to be used. In this case, we are going to select Text Nanometer PC mode. The second step in Litho file tool is to load OPC setup file. You can choose to load the existing setup file or extract the setup file from a rule file or a transcript. Once the setup file is loaded, you are allowed to modify the OPC setup if needed. Make sure click update button to save the changes made. The last step in the fill file tool is to set up layer mapping. In the layer mapping setup block, the layer names defined in OPC setup file are displayed in the left column. In this case, there are only two layers defined in the OPC setup file. In the column on the right, you will need to correctly map the layer displayed in the caliper workbench. In this case, we are mapping target in in setup file to the target layer in the design and mapping this SRAF in in the setup file to the SRAF layer in the design. Now you are done with the settings in the Litho file tool. You can now minimize the Litho file tool dialog and select the region that you are interested in performing OPC. Finally, it is time to enable OPC run. Click this OPC button for performing mini OPC in region. An OPC Run Options dialog will pop up. Text Nanometer OPC mode should be automatically selected. You can select whether to output OPC results and or contour results. Whether to output the results after certain iterations. In this case, let's output OPC and contour results after the first, third, sixth, ninth, and the final iteration, which is the twelfth iteration. You can also optionally define output layer options in this dialog, such as the starting output layer number, or whether to append, replace, or ask before outputting the layer. Click OK when you are ready, and you will see the results are generated in Calibre Workbench after a few seconds. In Calibre Workbench, there is an OPC Iterations toolbar to allow reviewing the OPC results in a convenient way. Before reviewing the results, you may want to load a predefined layer property file with your preference installed for displaying the results. Now let's zoom in a little bit before reviewing the results. By clicking the air buttons in the OPC Iteration toolbar, you can toggle the results between different iterations. Red slashed represents the OPC results and green is the contour. You can select to only display OPC or contour results. 
So now results are shown for 3rd iteration, 6th iteration, 9th iteration, and final iteration. Again, 1st, 3rd, 6th, 9th, and final results. You can analyze the results and further enhance your OPC recipe. Hope you find this video useful to you. Thanks for watching.